subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon to get new notification video hi guys welcome to automation studio uh, this is praveen and uh, in this tutorial or in this video we are going to see uh, how to automate our first test script over on ios so i do have one native app and i'm going to automate it and i'm going to use apm and with a very simple project i'm not going to use any maven project or anything else i will cover in later part how to create a maven project also but uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, how what are the dependency we needed in order to start with <coughs> ios test case and how to launch our app and all okay so let's start with this so let's open the eclipse okay and uh, let's create java project i will say sample ios test okay and then finish okay now here is my dummy project now i need my app first so right i will right click on that and i will create one folder uh, i will name as apps okay in this folder i will keep my all the apps which i am going to install into my device so here is my device okay and uh, the another thing is like i need libraries right so i will create a folder called libs okay so here uh, i will or i will so should say it, uh, zars uh, we should say stars okay so in this jar i will keep my all the jar which required like selenium jar and uh, apm client jar okay so i have jar over here so both of the jar i have included so this is the latest java client jar and uh, this is the selenium server jar what i have okay so these two I so what what next i need a uh, app obviously so i do have this app with me so let's copy from here and let's paste to here okay this is all about the setup like very how to create a simple very simple test project so within that just you need to include one app folder within that you can mention your app and the extras or whatever you want to use it okay now we want to include it these jars okay into our project as a reference library right so right click on that and uh, add to build path so you see it's got added in the ref reference library release okay now you can we can use it in our project okay now right click on that and uh, i'm going to and on src i'm not going I'm, I'm just going to create one uh, package okay so i'll say com dot <coughs> mm, com dot uh, studio dot tests okay and within that i'm going to create one java class okay so sample ios test okay fine okay got created here right okay so um, i'm going to create this um, class with the help of test ng so obviously i need to use at the test annotation and then i'm creating a sample test method and here like this and i'm going to create here see i need to first for only one time in a project i need to add first library so it's got added here see just ng right and then save and then just mouse over on it so based on that it will show suggest you see make sure it should from it should come from test ng okay so here see or test ng annotation test okay now 
we create a PM driver and we are going to deal with the mobile right so we have to say here mobile element okay because we are dealing with the mobile so obviously mobile element will come into the picture and it's a specifically it's a native app so no web element will be there only interaction with the uh, mobile element will be there okay so that's the reason why i'm creating with the explicitly mobile element okay so apm driver i will say apm okay equals to and uh, before that obviously we need to include some capabilities so let it be like that and i should say desired capabilities okay now what is desired capabilities uh, as i explain you why it is not suggesting anything here <clears throat> Yeah, it is that some typo was there okay okay so i will say cap apps short form i will say new okay desired capabilities okay like that <clears throat> yeah so i was talking about the desired capability so as i told you in the earlier session also desired capability will tell us about what kind of device uh on which you are going to test uh, run your tests okay so this is all about the desire capability desire capability will hold all the configuration related to your device okay related to your instrument you need to define here so it holds all the properties all the configuration okay <coughs> so now uh, we will define the configuration of our device what kind of devices we have okay so for an example <coughs> open terminal okay and then here <coughs> say device sorry instruments minus s devices okay i shown you in my earlier video also how to get all the devices simulator present in your machine this is the way okay now here whatever phone you oh sorry instrument you have simulator you are going to run a test on it then it should be present here so see in my case iphone x 11.2 is present okay so i'm going to copy this name so what is this this is a device name right so i'm going to say here cap apps dot i'm going to set one capability okay so here's a one typo cap app set capability okay so make sure capability name and value so i you are able to see that capability name and then value okay now what kind of capability it's a <clears throat> it's a device name right so you can say mobile mm, capability type okay mobile capability type okay is applicable for both okay android which is common between the android and ios so device name is common in mob uh, you know for ios and as well as android applicable for both okay the next thing is like you have to add more uh, udid okay so you can say that mobile capability type dot udid and then we have to select this udid this is a unique device id we have to copy here and then we need to paste over here okay perfect <clears throat> So the configuration with the device we have done okay we how to recognize like on which device we are going to run it by the name and udid so that that's fine okay now we want to set capability of what so so we are going to set uh sorry we are going to set capability of our app obviously right so mobile capability time dot app okay so where is our app so here what i'm going to do um, get uh, property and uh, user dot dir okay what is that i'm just explaining you apps and then my app name okay ios iphone dev dot app so what should I do? iOS dot app. 
okay so what is this system dot get property user dot dir okay we have to use in this case suppose if i will include here absolute path okay this path okay it might be happen in in future it, it could be happen like i can move this directory to somewhere else in different on different path right so in that case my this absolute path will not work right the movement of my project is now i have moved into some other location right so obviously that uh, absolute path is not going to work right but what this <coughs> method will do it will automatically identify where is your this uh, you know directory project directory is automatically it will fetch the value wherever you will move it c drive d drive wherever okay on the runtime it will fetch the location where uh, this folder is sitting okay and it will append here the path okay and after that within this project i do have the apps folder and within that i have this app simple as that okay so that that will <clears throat> creates my complete path of my dot app file okay so that is the logic what i am using here okay i re <clears throat> i recommend you to use uh, such kind of strategy while you are defining your app path okay okay so that is all about the app now one another very important uh, capability is uh, capabilities what is this uh, mobile capability type dot automation name okay so automation name in the case of ios you have to mention xuad test okay it is that this is mandatory you know uh, capability in case of ios you should keep it as a top top one if you want if you are going to deal with ios don't forget to mention it okay and uh, the next thing is i think platform name so uh, i'm going to say here platform name on which platform you are going to run okay platform name and which is uh, i will say a or s okay yeah so now <clears throat> let's start with this because in fpm driver you need to pass these cap apps okay so that is the reason why we have defined the capabilities first okay so now we are going to deal with the ios right so we should say ios driver okay uh, driver okay let me do that okay ios driver and let's forget about this for now and then uh, mobile element okay and then you should say here a uh, new url what is new url i'm going to say and pass the cap apps okay i'm going to explain you this so th the this new url means where is your uh, apm server is running okay so that you are also just say here if you are running in localhost then say uh local host and the port number so 4723 is the port wd and hub okay so that should be your apm server url okay she'll run over here it's showing 000 4723 so that also you can define but we will see okay and now <clears throat> add this url library also and just add throw a malform url ex exception okay it should mm, launch here our app okay so <clears throat> what we should say here just we have to include timeout which is implicit timeout okay so implicit weight sorry so for the implicit weight we will say 60 and time unit time unit should be 60 seconds okay 
<clears throat> shall we try now okay so let's close uh, what we need to do so we are done with our test case now we have to run it so before that obviously we need to run our IPM server so if our IPM server is running okay successfully make sure before that okay now your device is also ready correct good good to go then right click run as test ng test okay so now it's going to run and see the console output is getting printed okay so let focus over here only okay so it's now installing the app good okay and now it is waiting for web driver agent so it is also launched okay now it is launched the app cool okay so this is how we can launch the app so see <clears throat> launch the app successfully okay so just uh, there is a matter of one two three four five capabilities so five capabilities you need to add here that's mandatory automation name platform name device name UDID app okay by using this desired capability you have to pass within the while creating that in the case of uh, iOS it should be iOS driver suppose you want to deal with tomorrow with Android okay so you have to set the capabilities for the Android driver okay for the sorry Android instrument right so automation name should be Android platform name should be Android sorry automation name should be APM and platform name should be Android okay for automation name in case of Android should be <coughs> APM okay device name obviously you need it and UDID you not required in case of I uh, sorry Android so you, you can remove it and then you have to set this system uh, so you have to locate your APK file obviously so just you need to remove this UDID property and then the rest of the property will work uh, capabilities will work okay and you have to use here Android driver and just pass this capability over here that's it then this code should work in case of android as well okay cool okay uh, so that's all about this video okay so i hope this uh, video will be helpful for you for those guys who are new to the apm and uh, they want to learn apm for the ios and they want to learn like how to write a simple and first test case how i can start uh, with the writing uh, my first test case uh, for iOS with APM by using Java and test engine whatever the test engine whether it is JUnit or test engine whatever you can write the simple code uh, this code with the help of JUnit also so instead of a uh, J uh, test engine you can import uh, JUnit test and that will also work okay so in that case this uh, video will help you okay so I will call this uh, again this video is a kickstarter for you guys and uh, you can follow this uh, tutorial step by step and if you have any questions or doubt you can comment in my comment box uh, keep subscribe and uh, yeah uh, take care and bye for now